What's going on guys? Coach Matt and YouGoProBaseball.com here again at Zone Sports Academy, Bridgewater, New Jersey. Beautiful facility with two studs right here. Uh, Coach Duke Baxter and Steve Nickerack. And this is another selfish video on my part. We're talking about T-ball, man. T-ball's tough. I got a five-year-old son myself, but I want to know what you guys do with the youngsters, four or five-year-olds who are playing T-ball. What are your best drills? What do you guys do? Man, I think uh, when you're dealing with that younger age, the first thing you have to do is keep it fun, right? You have to keep it fun and you have to keep it safe. So we're gonna use a lot of smush balls. They're super soft, squishy balls, because so many kids, they don't know if their glove goes on the right hand or their left hand, they, right? True. They, true. Some of them don't even come with the equipment that they need on. They're going to the field and you're like, oh man, here we go. And that's, and that's what T-ball is. So the first drill we're gonna do is called defend the castle. Okay, so we're gonna come over here with some smush balls. I'm gonna roll some balls to Coach Steve and he's gonna defend the castle. So come on with us over here. So here we go, defend the castle. You gotta think of some fun names. You can use a glove or no glove, it doesn't matter. We got some smush balls. So the, the castle is right behind him. You see those red buckets? That's the castle. That's what the kids have to defend. They love the drill. This is just to get them to move their feet to get their hands out in front and just stop the ball. They're gonna forehand, backhand, they might dive. I don't think Coach Steve's gonna dive, but, um, so it looks just like this. You take four balls and you just start tossing them. They move their feet, then you're shuffling them over here. You're not letting them. Don't let it hit them. Come on, Coach Steve. And then you just, and you just mix up the pace. You keep it fun and you're trying to, you're pretending like it's gonna hit the castle and they're just moving around, having a blast with it and, you know, it's fielding ground balls. Let me ask you this about this drill, because let's be honest, we got four and five year olds. If we do this and we've got 10 kids waiting in line for that, that's gonna be a mess. So how do you break this down? Like, is this a station drill where you only have two or three kids at a time? How does that work when it comes to a practice? De definitely a station. Everything we do is in stations. With these guys, like their attention span is only so quick. So we do, you know, five, five minute stations around the field, as opposed to one kid taking ground balls with 11 kids watching. That's when baseball and softball become boring. So create as many stations as you can, keep them moving, keep the stations quick, and you're still working on fundamentals, but doing it in a fun way. That's awesome. What hey, other Coach Madden, you want to yeah. hear, one other, hear one other thing? You can turn this game into the warlord. The warlord is this. You do the same thing, you keep the, uh, the cast in the middle, but picture it like a box. You have a coach on all four sides and four kids going at a time, and they're all defending the same castle. So when you have eight kids, you have two teams of four, one team of four is waiting for that, boom, now it's their turn to go in. So you have one guy there, one guy here, one guy here, and a coach. So they're rolling balls and I'm trying to, coach Steve's over there, you're over there, and all of us are defending the same exact. So now you got four guys, same fun drill, and four kids going crazy when balls are getting by. and. You know, so it just kind of turns it into more, now you took a fun drill and turned it a little bit more competitive and you kind of, you turned it up a notch because we all know that when you start to compete at something, it, it kind of turns up the stakes a little bit and now it makes it a little bit more fun, so. Absolutely, absolutely. And you got to keep that high energy, right? You got to keep that high energy for them kids so they stay focused, they stay having fun, and they stay committed to the drill. What other drills you guys got? Coach Steve, you got number two. We got a bunch. All right, guys, drill number two. We see these young players, four to six year olds, they try to get out of the way of the ball. They're so afraid to catch the ball in front of their face. You see them dodging and ducking and doing whatever they can to not get hit by it. So I have two props right here. I got a base and I have a bucket. So I call this the windshield wiper drill. The reason we have the, the base and the bucket here is so the kids are stationary, they can't move their feet, they can't get out of the way. And Duke's just gonna use smush ball. So he's gonna toss the ball at me. It's, I call it the windshield wiper drill for a reason. So our, our left arm, my, my glove hand, is gonna be the one catching the baseball or catching the smush ball. But notice how it's working like a windshield wiper in front of me. So many times you see kids, they do this one right here, where their fingers go down, the ball deflects. It's gonna take one time for a player to get hit in the face, and they're gonna be done for the season. They're gonna be nervous, and then they're really gonna be ducking out of the way. So the base keeps me from moving out of the way, and then my, you know, my throwing hand's gonna go behind my back, and Duke's just gonna toss them. So that's to my glove side. To my, fork, to my backhand side, but my arm's working like a windshield wiper. For the little guys, if they miss it, it's okay, as long as they're missing it with their fingers to the sky, just like this. And before you know it, they start catching them with their bare hand, they're not getting out of the way, they start to build a little, build a little bit of confidence, plus they love standing on the base. 
You could use a bucket too. You can use a cinder block. Just get creative with it. And, and, and they're starting like this now. So now they really can't get out of the way. It's the same exact drill. But windshield wiper on a bucket, they get used to catching the ball like that. And once they do it bare hand, once they get a glove on their hand, it's that much easier. That's a great drill. Um, I can imagine too, some of the guys who have, because let's be honest, at the t-ball level, you're going to have young kids who have, like, have natural ability and they're like, they can almost catch the ball right away. And then other kids that have no chance at catching the yeah. ball. And I, I could imagine that uh, one of the ways that you could progress this drill is starting those kids that have a real struggle catching the ball is even just, like you said, just touching it at first. Touching Let's it. get the hand-eye coordination now, touch it, touch it. Then we get them grabbing it. Then we get the glove yep. and then we go from there. That's a great drill. I'm still on that one. You don't send them down the line and say play catch on day one. Right. You see that all the time. Coaches like, all right guys, go down the line and play catch. Guys are firing the ball. You might have a stud shortstop throwing it to a kid that can't catch. And then he does this and gets hit in the face and you're done. It's going to be yeah. tough to get that kid back. Absolutely. You guys got one more drill for us? One oh, more yeah. t-ball drill? Let's have, let, let, let's mix in a combination of a, a throwing drill and a competition at the same time. And it's called tire fire. Here we go. Here we are, tire fire. And guess who's going to compete against each other? Coach Madden and Coach Baxter. Here we go. We each got two smush balls. Coach Steve's going to roll the tire. As the tire's rolling in front of us, we're gonna take our balls and we're gonna try to throw it and try to throw it through the tire. We get one point to hit the tire and two points to get it through the tire. So this is a great drill. You can line up all 12 of your kids. They all have two balls, one tire rolls, and the kids are chucking and firing and it's just a fun drill to, you know, to get them throwing. So here we go. Keep track of who wins. Ready, <laughs> go! Three to nothing. One point to hit and two to get through. He was just warming up. He was just warming up. One more time. He didn't play six years in the pros for nothing. Pitcher with the wing. I'm just getting lucky. Ready, go! Oh, oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, so that's a really fun drill to get the kids throwing. They always look forward to competitions or fun. And the cool thing about that is you can say, hey guys, instead of having it a competition where one person wins, let's see if we can get 12 points. Now as a team, we're trying to do our best together. Now I'm rooting on and high-fiving the guy that got one through, opposed to doing this, if not. You know, it, it's about trying to build the team and in stuff like this, there's always a time to compete, but then there's also a time to where you're trying to build up your team and the more you can do together, it kind of really makes a difference. Yeah, I love that. That was fun for me right there, you know, just trying to throw the balls through the drill. I can imagine young players doing that. They would, you could eat up 10 minutes doing this drill, no problem in the practice. That's awesome stuff. That's, those are great t-ball drills. I'm stealing all of those drills. As a matter of fact, I actually sell the smush balls on my website, yougoprobaseball.com. If you need some, check them out. I'll leave the link down below. Of course, check out uh, Zone Sports Academy, if you're in the Bridgewater, New Jersey area, dominate the diamond online, online portal. Tons of information for baseball coaches coaching at any level. I'll leave all the information down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you got any questions about T-ball drills or any other age baseball, let us know and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video.